Hey everyone, my name is Ryan from Windows TV and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different because I have something very special to share with you. Let's take a look. Putt Putt saves the zoo? And joins the circus? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's just press escape quickly but before we get copyright strike from the Putt Putt saves the zoo music. Oh, hey everyone, my name is Ryan from Windows TV, as you may have heard in the beginning of this video. Today, I have something really special to share with you, and I'm doing a little bit of a video that I haven't done in a while because, you know, it just wasn't one of those popular things, um, but I'm pulling it back out for this because I'm super excited about this humongous entertainment game. It's brand new, and it's all shiny and pretty, and I mean, just look at this amazing art like no for real this is a custom built scum recreation well based off a of scum engine in javascript in html5 uh this is something i've been working on for a while now and it's come to a point where i can show it off and potentially tell you guys what i'm going to do with it once it's completely finished um, when the video is over, I can, sh or not the video, when this part of the video is over, I can talk to you a little bit more about where this came from, but I just want to do a little showcase right now. So, as Putt-Putt explained it perfectly, this is a demo, and we're going to explore what we have here, so... As the game started up, you noticed that there were animations playing, and those animations are sprite sheets in JavaScript, and I'm using a JavaScript class um, library called CreateJS, and I'm using the EaselJS to show off the game itself. And those animations playing at the beginning, as well as putt putt here, are sprite sheets. And defined in my custom engine, they are actors in costumes. So I'm very proud of this. This is something different than I've ever done in any of my custom games. You may notice that some of these clips actually have lip sync in them, which kind of interestingly, the logic that I used to lip sync these characters um, didn't work in Action Script 3 when I did this in Flash, which I will talk about a little bit more later. I just want to show this off a little bit more right now. Yes, it is, Putt-Putt. I'm trying to play through all of his voice clips. I'm gonna change how this randomizes because clearly it's not doing such a great job at randomizing right now. There's one. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up this top hat here. Now, I don't have any audio clip for this, so he's just gonna speak and the caption's gonna show. Um, I believe I clicked on Pepper Ready, but there's Pep for you. Can't use that there. Let's head back over here. Let's go ahead, put. I know it says Place Puffle here. This was art ripped off from the um, Flash version I was making, and I didn't change it. But let's just go ahead and place this top hat here. Item was used in the correct location. But that's basically what I have so far. Let me show you guys the first incarnation of this. So what what's playing right now is the first incarnation of what you just saw. And this version's actually running in Adobe Flash. I've been working on this version for almost a year on and off, and when I uploaded it to Facebook, I decided to upload it early because I wanted to upload this with more content included in it, but I realized that it's 2019. In a year, Flash is going to be dead. In a few months, Chrome... It's just going to get rid of Flash altogether. I knew if I pursued this version of the engine, it wouldn't be good for the new age of technology. So, 
I decided to make a big leap and jump over to JavaScript and HTML. And you know what? I'm glad I did because that's a fun experience learning something new. If you used ActionScript 3 before, and possibly ActionScript 2, I would recommend using CreateJS because it's just a friendly environment for you to get into the feel of a new language because a lot of the syntax is familiar and it works a lot like ActionScript 3, just without a physical stage and a GUI looking at that stage. You're doing everything Hi, by code. I'm Putt -Putt. Now, this is the first incarnation of what you just saw in JavaScript. And as you can see, there's a little bit more features. Um, I can't use that there. That doesn't work there. There. Putt Putt can talk. And actually, Pep doesn't have audio in this. <laughs> there are some things it has more and some things that it doesn't. Um, a few more click points. A few more things like... Um, animation and stuff, and actually in this version, Puppa can change Time colors, uh, something that I don't think I'm going to be able to put over in the JavaScript version. I know I'm like off tracking here, but I'm just saying a few things. I don't have a script for this. It's just basically a showcase, um, but place that there. I'll have to wait for the real game to do that. I can't use this in the demo. I can't use this in the demo. I can't use this in the time for me to head to the circus. Time for me to head to the circus. So this is basically the first incarnation of it. And hopefully what I can do with the new JavaScript engine is like I said, be able to make my own venture games, recreate the humongous entertainment games in high definition, higher quality, upgrade the art, a lot of the background art actually still exists um, in its original, well, quote unquote, original format. Um, one of the background artists is for Puppet Save Zoo, Derek. Um, he has some of it up on his portfolio, and that's where I got, that's actually where I got this background from. This is the high quality version background. I don't know if you can really tell, but this, this is the original. It's probably not the original 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 like in its high quality format this is the one i got off this website anyways hopefully with the javascript engine i can create new adventure games does it have to be humongous entertainment no we'll see what comes out of it but for right now it's a really great programming technique to learn javascript and if any of you are ActionScript programmers and you fear the future of Adobe Flash and all your games running in it, I'd highly suggest checking out CreateJS and creating a project like I did because this is cool. Hopefully I can make something big of it someday. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say. But that's basically it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase, and I hope you guys look forward to what I have to offer with this JavaScript engine. I'm going to try to make my own, own adventure game someday, and this gum based off engine is the right way to go. Anyways, if I have an outro, enjoy the outro. I'll see you guys later. Red light, midnight, pouring out heart and soul. Chasing insight, greatness can take its toll. I know we will find our.